Hey everyone, this is Roscoe Raz here, again with Beer Stash, and I have another local beer here I want to review, and uh, and I have here, a call, it is called Welcome to Scoville Jalapeno IPA from Jailbreak Brewery, that is located in, or I'm sorry, Jailbreak Brewing Company, that is located in Laurel, Maryland, again, local um, brewery that's close by here and um, I figure I give this one a try I got this one not too long ago um, I haven't had it before um, I am a sucker for uh, jalapeno habanero beers I've uh, had uh, the Sculpin habanero um, a few others that had jalapeno so this is kind of a local one that I was able to find and uh, I'm gonna give it a try out and see how it is um, this one is 6.9% uh, ABB, uh, 74 IBU, which is a, lot high, a little bit higher, obviously, on the bitterness index, beginning that's an IPA. Um, and again, it's a chili beer. It's uh, a little bit rundown of what, uh, let's see here, when Untap says, an artisanal style IPA combining mildly bitter hops, fresh jalapeno peppers, and cilantro with a moderate malt profile. Mm. This culinary co concoction offers both an easy drinking IPA and a bowl full of hal a bowl full of jalapenos without the burn. One might expect never would Scoville have, have imagined such a fitting match for the world's perfect pepper. Ooh, well, it sounds pretty good here. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this up. Go ahead and pour it out here in my glass. Oh yeah. Definitely some carbonation here, probably because I'm pouring not very good here and kind of towards the center. Really, I should be more pouring to the side, but in any case, um, so I gave myself a fair amount of heading here. Um, but a fair amount of carbonation nonetheless. Um, definitely a nice, uh, would call it a golden amber style color here, as we expected. Don't see any real like floaties or anything like that in this. So um, let's go ahead and give it a sniff here for aroma. Oh yeah, I got some of my nose here. Oh yeah, that smells really good. Definitely can smell the hops on there. Um, I get the definitely the jalapeno. I'm trying to smell a cilantro in there. I'm not really getting too much of that, but probably when I start tasting, I'll get some of the cilantro in there. But definitely the hops and the jalapeno, I definitely get that aroma within this one. So without further ado, let's give it a try here. Oh, yeah. Right off the bat, the hops immediately you get you get the, a little bit of the hops with the bitterness and bang you get the jalapenos they're, they're definitely there um, back end you can get a little bit of the cilantro uh, definitely the hops and the jalapeno flavor right up front with this not very bitter at all Yeah, it's really not bitter on the back end. The front end is a slight bitterness, but it's really not that powerful. Um, I really, really like this. This is a very clean tasting IPA, very well balanced. Um, the jalapenos are, are there, but it's not like super spicy or overwhelming spice in this. Um, just to let you know, it, it's it's just, you know, it wants to just let you know it's there, but it, it's not overpowering. So it, it doesn't overpower the beer, the, the taste, the hops. It's I think it's really good, clean tasting beer. Um, yeah, I, I definitely recommend that you give this a try out. Um, probably would be a little bit harder since you know, this is a local um, uh, brewed beer. Uh, again, not too far away from me in Laurel, Maryland. But uh, but it, if you get a chance to try it out, definitely do. Um, Yeah, this is this is a really fantastically done beer. Uh, again, a little bit of bitterness, but not overpowering. Very well balanced for hops and 
in the jalapeno right mixture. Not spicy really. Um, I was expecting a little bit maybe of a, of a burn or a warmth to it, but really not. It, it's it, it's it's very good, very very good. And when, again, as as I said a million times before, well balanced. Um, as far as rating goes on this one, um, one being the worst, five being the best, I would have to put it. Again, another solid beer at a, a, a four and a half or four and a quarter, I guess. Uh, this is, um, if I had to put, a, 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 I guess, a, um, a grading on it, I would say at least a B plus, uh, if not A minus. Great solid beer. Uh, again, highly recommend it if, if you're able to get a chance to get it. But uh, please feel free to leave your comments and, uh, and likes uh, below. Uh, again, I appreciate any and all feedback and um, again uh, this was a very well enjoyed beer here and uh, here's cheers to more to come thank you again for tuning in and uh, until next time in the next beer stash I'll see you then take care